In 2045, scientists confirmed the unthinkable. Photosynthesis had collapsed. A genetic mutation in cyanobacteria, the foundation of the oxygen cycle, rendered chlorophyll non-functional. Within months, global oxygen levels plummeted. Plants withered, ecosystems collapsed, and humanity faced extinction. Governments scrambled to deploy artificial oxygen generators, but demand outstripped supply. Cities became sealed biodomes, reliant on algae farms and synthetic food. The remaining forests were preserved as relics, their dying leaves studded in vain. Desperate, scientists turned to extremophiles, organisms thriving in oxygen-poor environments, hoping to engineer a new photosynthetic pathway. By 2060, a breakthrough emerged, genetically modified archaea that could produce oxygen from sulfur compounds. The process was slow, but it offered a lifeline. Humanity adapted, abandoning the surface for underground habitats. The world above became a barren wasteland, a silent testament to life's fragility. Yet in the shadows of Eden, a new balance emerged, one not of green, but of resilience.